Project Search for Fashion is part of European Commission program COSME, a platform that allows designers to create their signature projects within the scope of sustainability. My project was dedicated to my heritage, my grandparents, who originally come from the south of Spain, from a fisherman village named Salobreña. Here you can see a picture of my grandfather working on his miniature sailboat ships, a process that I was very much in love with as a child, and it became the inspiration to develop my collections and my own materials. In 2017, I developed a collection dedicated to this world and it was developed with materials that are normal plastics and dyed with conventional black synthetic dyeing methods. For Project Search for Fashion, my aim was to create a ready-to-wear collection that was also more sustainable, a new production chain. I collaborated with a sewing studio in Arnhem called One Room Office and it was really nice to collaborate with them because we, we watched and learned from my haute couture piece from 2017 and we started making new patterns and adjusting them and to really focus on zero waste techniques within the pattern development and to also fit fit the samples on models to review them from each and single point and to adjust step by step. This was the first step of project search for fashion. The second step was to do, to do a collaboration with my Spanish partners from Valencia in Alcoy, a textile institute named ITEX and they give me access to new materials. I collaborated with my partner Kiko from ITEX and he showed me a new division and all the new materials that they have stuck there. Um, also the process of the filament producing machines were very much inspiring for me. And um, we focused on polylactic acid materials. It's a multi-filament that has sustainable qualities. So my third partner was to bring those um, materials from ITEX to their um, weaving partner called Textiles Hoiper. And we brought the bobbins from polylactic acid. You can also say PLA. And I was able to watch the factory from Textiles Hoiper and to really understand the process of how they do their product development and production. Um, I brought a piece of the sale pattern from my grandfather to the product developer, Gonzalo, and he luckily was able to make a textile blueprint for me. I had a selection of warp materials such as monofilament, but I chose to work with biocotton. And for the weft of the machine, I worked with the PLA yarns and the warp was manually hand inserted by the weavers with biocotton materials. So my fourth partner in this project is Care Applications. I collaborated there with Carmina and she offered me a very nice, interesting technology called nanonebulization. It's a dyeing method that has huge potential to make the dyeing process very sustainable and reduces the usage of water over 80%. This was very inspiring for me to see how this new technique of dyeing was transferred into my textile design. Because the PLA filaments do not um, uh, suck black pigment, uh, it's possible for the sail patterns to come through because a contrast is created. Biocotton materials, however, does suck the black pigment into the fiber 
And this is how the seal patterns came to life with black and white. We used also inked fish, ink pigment, the black, the black pigment from inked fish to, to create new experiments for the black dyeing techniques. For the last step, to make my final prototype, I was able to work with label producers and we incorporated every aspect that is important within this process, such as the, the washing development that needs to be done and also the method of the dyeing technique that is incorporated. And, and here you can see the final prototype of Project Search for Fashion. I'm very happy with the final outcome. It has a very fresh and light feel, very feminine and elegant, modern at the same time. And it's the first item from my new fashion label Archasphere that is launched in 2023.